Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to discuss Geeks for Geeks problem of the day. And today's problem is leaders in an array and it is an easy level problem. So the problem says that we have been given an array of positive integers and our task is to find the leaders in the array and uh, any element is called a leader if it is greater than or equal to all the elements to its right side and the rightmost element is always a leader. Right, so the problem statement is very simple. Now let me explain you with the help of this particular test case. So we have it here. Let's say this is the problem statement that we have. Now they are saying that this is the input array that has been given to us. Right. So in this case, they are saying that 17 is one of the leaders and 17 is a leader because it is greater than or equals to all the elements to the right of it. Similarly, it goes for 5 and 2 is the rightmost element. So it is always going to be the leader. Now, for example, 4 is not the leader because 5, which is a greater element than 4, is present to the right of it. Now, this problem is very simple and uh, the idea used behind this problem is of suffix array and uh, you don't need to actually calculate the suffix array. You will be able to solve it without even forming the suffix array. So, what you essentially have to do is for each element, let's say these are all the elements, you are going to traverse from right to left. right? And for the first element, since it is always the leader, you can always push back the last value into your answer vector, right? And you move on to the next element, you will update your max element as max of the maximum element that you have encountered till now and the current element. Now after updating, after updating the value of max, if a of i, if a of i is greater than or equals to the max element till now, that means this is a leader element or this element can be considered as a leader, right? So you don't have to do anything. You just have to traverse from right to left in a reverse for loop. And at each step, you're going to update your maximum element as maximum of your maximum element till now and your current element. If after updating your maximum element, your current element is still greater than or equals to the maximum element, that means it is going to be a leader. Now, what will happen in a case like this? So when you come to this particular position, the value of max initially will be 5. So you are going to take max is equals to maximum of 4 comma 5 where 4 is the current element and 5 is the value from this max. Now when you update this max, it is going to be 5 only because 5 is greater and now you will see that your current element is less than your maximum element. Hence your answer cannot form in this particular case and it cannot be a leader. Now for all the other cases where a of i is greater than or equals to max, it can be one of the leaders and you can push back answer dot push back your current element into your answer vector. Now there is one thing that you have to take care of that if you are traversing from right to left, right, you will see that you will be pushing the elements in this order. First of all, two, you will encounter two and then five and then 70, right. But in the answer output, they are expecting you to uh, return all the elements in a forward order where the first element which was present first in the array should be present first in the answer vector as well. Right. So at the end, you don't have to do anything. You can just reverse this particular answer vector and that will be your final answer. So this was all about today's problem of the day. Now let us have a look at the code. So you see what I've done is I've created an answer vector. I've initialized my maximum value with minus n is power 9. So I've just taken minus infinity. Now I run a for loop from i is equals to n minus 1 till i is greater than minus 1 and I'm doing decrement in i. Now I'll update my max variable as maximum of max comma a of i. And I'm going to check if a of i is greater than or equals to max. In this case, I'm just going to push back this particular a of i into my answer vector. At the end, I can just reverse my whole answer vector and I can return my answer vector and this will be my final solution. So let me just quickly submit this and show you that this particular code works. So you see it passes all the test cases and the solution is absolutely correct. I hope that you guys were able to understand the solution. If you guys did, then consider dropping a like on this video. And don't forget to share thoughts in the comments because your engagement with this particular video really helps the YouTube algorithm to understand that this video is actually helpful for you and you need to be able to reach more number of people like you who want to keep solving new problems. So I see a lot of people who watch these videos have not subscribed yet. In case you're one of them, then definitely consider subscribing. It's always free of course and you can always unsubscribe if you don't find the videos interesting later. So share this channel with your friends and until the next video drops, keep coding, stay safe, bye bye.